And here he comes, draped in the, the flag of his native Romania, Amancio Paraschiv, who's unbeaten in five so far, but his appearances of the, the ring are punctuated by notable absences. Actually, quite some time, nine years since he actually made his debut. Now, he switched between kickboxing and pro boxing, so plenty of experience in combat sports for sure. He's still unbeaten and with a, a vocal backing of, of plenty of his countrymen and women here ringside tonight to support him. Here's the tail of the tape. Unbeaten in five so far with a one stoppage for Aschip. Uh, whereas you can see Charlie Sheldon looking for that first win, but only a two stoppage defeats in those 17 losses for him and a, a whole raft of unexposed fighters he's been sharing the, the ring at. So he comes in slightly heavier as well on the night. And that spur him on on this his return to action Round after nine months out of the ring. You fancy so. Just watching Charlie Sheldon throughout all of that, he's seen it before. And the fact that he's coming into this one with just a little over 24 hours notice, I don't fancy George that's going to bother him one little bit. No, absolutely not. Uh, Sheldon, I'm sure he's fighting fit, he's gym fit all the time. He's nice and busy within his boxing career and he's used to getting last minute calls up to come and save the show or come and save the opponent be the man in front of him you might be able to hear the crowd he's, he's sold some tickets for us should he tell you what no wonder johnny clark's got a big smile on his face over on the far side of the ring he's, he, this this is something that could grow and blossom if his career continues to progress yeah he's a good boxer parachute he's, he sits in his legs really well. He's got a nice little flow, transferring his weight left to right. He's stalking Sheldon. And then when he does get in within range, nice little loopy body shots are coming in just behind the elbow right now. He looks a lot more boxer than kickboxer, doesn't he? We've seen you know, guys like Vitaly Klitschko, Marco Hook, guys with kickboxing backgrounds, and you could see they had kickboxing backgrounds. This guy has got a different kind of shape. Well, yeah, kickboxing, you, they kind of sometimes stand up right. Obviously, they've got to get their legs up, and then they're used to switching stances because they want to kick from the back leg. But Parashev is not that at all. He's quite the seasoned boxer. Nice little sequence from... Parashev, Amancio is the cheer you can hear going ringside, and swinging uppercut, there's a nice left hook to the body as well, and Sheldon's going to have to use all of his nose and experience, he did there tying up Parashev in that exchange. Nice right hook goes in there from Parashiv. Brings blood to the nose of Sheldon, who has to hold on. Oh, nice left hook there, right through the middle. He just dipped to his left. That was a Ricky Hatton move, wasn't it? Dip to one side, and he whipped that right through the middle. And you can see, as George was saying, blood smeared across the, the top lip of Charlie Sheldon. He's comfortable at the start, less so as that round progressed. Here we go then, into round two. There's some of the, the colour and the Romanian flavour ringside tonight to support this man in the black and white shorts. And what I liked about the, the highlights that you saw there from the first round, never cramping his own start. Whenever he got too close, just taking a little half step to give himself a bit of space to work. Oh, you're right, he did.
And although he's only got the one stoppage so far in his, his career, I think that what we've seen so far through the, the first round in a bit, uh, you fancy they won't be long in coming. No, I think you're right. But when you're in there with guys who are, who are capable, more experienced, know how to sometimes not get stopped, you've only got four rounds to put a significant enough dent in them to, to get rid of them. It is hard sometimes. So sometimes guys can punch harder than their record suggests in the early stages of their career just because they haven't had the time to break down the man in front of them. Oh, just a... Matt caught him a bit low. There's Sheldon, who was trying to draw the referee's attention to, to that as well. He's been in with... I mean... Eight unbeaten fighters, four of them have been debutants as well, so he's always in Sheldon against the guy who's supposed to, to win, the coming force, the, the improver. So he is used to this kind of pressure, this kind of intimidation. And there's certainly plenty of that so far tonight through the first round and a half. Nice little spat of defiance there from Sheldon, and a couple of shots of his own. to wriggle himself out. He, you just felt that explosive shots were about to be unleashed by Parascu. Yeah, he landed a little exchange there as well. Sheldon just managing to close the distance and get sort of smother the work to, to stay safe. Oh, uppercut there. Another one that might have been a bit low, and Sheldon trying to fight his way out of that skirmish. Yeah, Sheldon now, throwing caution to the wind, he has to fight his way out of these situations. He's trying to punch back. Not quite been able to pin Sheldon down in this round. No, not quite yet. It could be easy for frustration to creep in for, for Astrid. Also, but he's creeping forward like he was just then, with a variety of his hands. Into round three then. This one's scheduled for four. A good start so far from Nemancio Parascev in the black and white. Oh, nice jab there from Sheldon. Something happened there. I don't know if the heads came together. Yeah, he, he, yeah that's what I thought, George. Yeah, he backed off for us. He didn't as if he thought that the referee was going to, going to intervene. Well, ultimately, he just let them get on with it, Chris Jones. Shoulder doing a good job of trying to be elusive here. Hands are up high, but it's still lots of head movement. You just feel that. The tactics there are just hoping that Parashev switches off and pulls up high and square and he can let something go from there. Yeah, I think Sheldon's found a combination of tactics that are working from it. Whenever Parashev's getting close to him, he's just closing the distance, head down, hands high, trying to deny him space. There's a couple of body shots going in and maybe now Parashev finding the key again. selection there from Sheldon, showing little glimpses himself. What's the right kind of tactic to, to slow or, or pin Sheldon down, George? Well, you, you need to keep him on the ropes and essentially get him into the corner, so... At the moment, Parashev's not quite cutting the ring off correctly. He's letting Sheldon have too much room. 
And then when he does touch the ropes, he's letting him get out of the corner. Nice right hand, and that has Sheldon hanging on. Big swinging right hand there, and it's a little sneer from Parashchev as well. Feels like he might have just got through, making it a bit uncomfortable for Sheldon, who's holding on again. Quite right, too. And as he had done in the previous round, Sheldon was, was just managing to, to navigate his way around. He's actually landed a, a few shots of his own. He's clipped Parashchev a few times as we held into the fourth and final round then. Well, this, is, this is exactly what you want to see from Sheldon, kind of spirited defence, ask a few questions, use every bit of nouns and, and avenues and options open to you to stop Parashya from doing what he wants to do and giving him some rounds to, to boot too. Exactly what these matchups are designed to, to do. The defences of Sheldon are good, though. He has gloves high, he was weaving his head, did exactly what he had to, and I think he, he managed to deflect most of the power. He boos and howls from the Parastia fans. Yeah, Parastia, he's hoping for that, for that uppercut, especially out of the orthodox stance with the, with the right hand. He's been able to close the distance quite easily, so that maybe he's not needed to, to use the jab, but there certainly hasn't been any jab tonight, has there? Yeah, there's, and it's a shame, because I think it, I think it will work, and it also, once he starts throwing bent arm shots, he does have a tendency to turn, to, to end up square, Parashiv, and then that allows Sheldon to just stab out a straight shot, you know, behind the high guard, he might be weaving left and right, and stab out a jab and just knock him off balance, and it gives him that breather, to come back and come again. So, Parrish, I'm thinking, right, let's keep him on the rope so he can't create that distance. So I can land my bent arm shots because I can keep the distance short and go around the side a couple of times. Oh! And I, I think, yep. actually, George, that he might have heard you because in that whole sequence, he landed more jabs in those three sequences than he has done perhaps in the whole fight and that set up the opportunity for the overhand right and that, that landed it was a bit scrappy and untidy but there was an overhand right and he was off the jab there's another right hand 30 seconds to go a, a bit of a shove they're getting a bit scrappy and untidy here but Parashev trying to use muscle and strength to, to get the result For the first time, Sheldon looking a little rocker. Yeah, heating up now, 15 seconds to go. Sheldon in full survive mode. I think he will hear the final bell. Well, a bit scrappy at the end, knocked down at the end. Parashchev back in action, and Sheldon using all his, his knowledge, know-how, knows. One while to navigate the, the four rounds successfully. At the four rounds of boxing, we go to the referee's scorecard. Referee Chris Jones scores the bout 40 to 35. And your winner, Amancio the Viking Parashchev! He kisses the badge. Kisses the badge. But as you, well, he might. Uh, that is uh, his, his countrymen and women at ringside tonight. I'll appreciate that. He's a ticket seller. He's got a good style. Oh, we'll welcome him back. I think they certainly will. Make some tremendous noise for, for him tonight. Another win under your belt. Just how good did the sixth outing of your pro career feel tonight? In primul rând, vreau să mulțumesc tuturor românilor care au fost alături de mine.
Sunt mândru că sunt român. Împreună suntem uniți. Vreau să mulțumesc tuturor. It is here Romanian who come from Spain, who come from Scotland. They are coming back to Romania in UK, London to see me. I'm very proud. Uh, I, I want to thank the, the promoter Johnny Clark give me this opportunity and I will be ready to take over boxing. Welterweight division, I'm coming. Mervo, we can't even hear ourselves think. Mervo, I'll bring you in. That was a fantastic performance. It looked like things heated up. So loud. It looked like things heated up towards the end of the third into the fourth. Did you think he was maybe going to get him out of there? Ali, I don't know what you said. <laughs> did you think he was going to get him out of there? Yeah, I did, but um, in, the, in the last round there, it was just maybe a little bit too impatient and rushing in, which, you know, deterred him from getting the stoppage. But uh, this was all about just get, making his UK debut and showing the people what, what a good boxer he is and where we can go with him. And that's what it was about. The win is the most important thing. The stoppage would have been cream, but... You know, he, he boxed well and showed his skills, and, and that's going to take him to the next level. Yeah, it was a fantastic performance, but we can't end this interview without mentioning the amount of people in here supporting you tonight. Voi iubesc pe toți. I love you all. I love you, my family. Well done. Great performance.